Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Last time we did a whole bunch of good stuff with tanks. Okay, cool. Gotta turn that down a little. Because I want to turn this up. Only here do you get to see live bug fixing and all that good nonsense. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Good to know I didn't do anything. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. I like the ropes on it. I don't think it does anything. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. Where are but you going with this? Their own territories. If anything threatens their home, They'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. He's right. We do what we have to. Way too many people don't to. believe in that. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? I've stolen her child. Oh, he's adorable. Hard disagree. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. <laughs> Someday, we'll come back home again. <laughs> yes. Just holding a baby, like, look, that's your home. Just, soon, it's a crater. Know it. It's on fire as we speak, Wilkins. Chapter three: <laughs> Vassal Urban Warfare. Ah, finally, we'll get to meet the proud people called the Vaseline. <laughs> that's your home. Just. The eclipse is happening on top of it. In March of 1935, <laughs> the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Mm hmm. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border Girlendio. fell to his tanks in quick succession. Yeah, the tank was pretty much a, a, a big swerve in warfare when it was introduced. I don't think it was introduced at this time, but... Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Oh yeah, Galia is like small. Like, I'm looking at this like, yes, this is the map, but like, that's... That's like the size of a single Grand state. Degrees, Galia's capital. A that town looks awesome. secure and stable since ancient times. Vaguely within reminiscent of Wall. The castle Rand, Greece. I think Rose is the middle one. Spire resided Cordelia, 
Galia's princess. Of course there's a princess in this game. It's a JRPG, it's practically law. Supporting Galia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Makes sense. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. I know some countries do that. Apparently they have pretty good, um... So these are my new digs. <laughs> it's the butterflies. Oh, my uniform. Is that a bolo tie? Ugh. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. I want to learn what the kind of hat he has on the cover is. Yeah, I want a hat like that. Layers, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Do you have a little throat mic in there? Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. <laughs> the plate the plates are kind of interesting. Not bad, not bad. You look good actually. So how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Being protagonists, they Let's do not get look. helmets. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. <laughs> oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. It does look kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Polio what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? A cool girl? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? They're pretty tough. Japan loves rhinoceros beetle. That's why common writer... That's why the various common writers have, like, helmets like stag beetles and rhinoceros beetles. Uh, True fact. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. <laughs> Man, this guy's a protagonist. Just <laughs> tell me about this thing. What can you tell me about the Reapers, you know? Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. <laughs> That's cute. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. There's no way. One of these people has to die, right? Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready. And Wilkins like, I can't wait for this war to be over so I can be a teacher. And Alicia's like, I can't wait for the war to be over so I can bake a whole bunch of fucking bread. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready... We should probably go see the captain now. <laughs> One of them is probably going to die, right? All right. I wonder who that I wonder who the captain's going to be. My money's on either a tiny girl or like a old blustery man with that like anime dude mustache, you know? Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. The Man, thing on his chest is a little Galleon silly. Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. 
What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Look at this player too, guy. I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys Camp are Clark? here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. Hell yeah, archaeology rocks. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying more, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. I love I love the anime like hand clasp. Today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randgreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. No salute from him. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Welcome, Alicia. Who are you? Tank commander. Oh, so maybe he will stay in the tank. Bridget, possibly Brigitte. Stark, she's a shock trooper. Okay, so we, oh, we can even see their classes. Lancer, shock trooper, scout. His aim is worse. He has a blast suit. Likes Rosie, Hannes, and Jen. Likes Largo and Cherry. Likes Welkin, Gnosis, and Dallas. Alicia, Juno, and Audrey. I don't know these people yet. So this does confirm my suspicion that like the other guys are just enemy scout, enemy shock troop, or whatever. And then those are just classes that we get. So she has a little more HP and a little less AP. And she has a Mags M1, which is less range. Hmm. And he has a Landcar M1, and he's a Lancer. Maybe he's those guys in the intro who have like the gun lances. Interesting though. So is Faldio like not a guy? Is he not a party member? It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. This girl's cute, by the way. I want to mention. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Very like unusual character design for anime, but like that's very much appreciated, you know? Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. Thank you. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. Oh, cool. Yeah. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Seen a lot of those? Their best asset is their mobility. Kay. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. A problem that I often have when starting as like a really fast class is that like I get used to that speed and I don't want to drop it, you know? Like, everyone that we've been playing so far, I think, has been a scout. Um, but, like, the the tank was so slow, and I was like, ooh, this power, though. But, like, maybe I might pick up a Lancer and, or a, what was the other, Shock Trooper, and I'll be like, ugh, it's the, the slowness. But I might appreciate the power, just like with the tank, so. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. And then throw a Pokeball and catch him. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Mm, I have found it difficult to confirm kills, so... Next up, the Shock Trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. That's a very boxy gun. I appreciate that. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Interesting that they would give us this one second, but it also forces the player to think a little more. Because if they're like, here's the best one for fighting, and it's like, well, in this game I'm going to fight, they give you the one that's best at straight up and down fighting last or later, just to be like, hey, consider your options. God of War does that. Initially you get arrows that stun people, and then later they give you arrows that damage people. 
And if they had given me arrows that damage from the start, I would have just used only those. But because I got used to the stun and it was my only option and I could appreciate it, I was like, okay, I definitely have a reason to not just throw away the stun, you know? Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. After them, we have Lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Okay, cool. So yeah, they do have the gun lances then. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. And not having those is why we got our shit rocked, huh? They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Oh, cool. So they're almost like a rogue, maybe? Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. The plating is, again, very interesting. That kind of armor plating is, like, pretty atypical. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. And their logo is like a little wrench. They can restock other units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. So they're tank medics. They can place sandbags for cover. They the also have lines, terrain effects. Towers, you name it. Interesting. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilitators. I also do really like engineer roles in games. Lastly, we have the snipers. I certainly know what that means. A... You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. But I wear glasses, so... Sniping rifles also come with scopes. I've never heard the term sniping rifles. Natural eyesight. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. That should cover the basics. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Interesting. Hermes Kissinger. Meadow. Oh my god. Okay. He fancies women, he's claustrophobic, and he's meadow bred. Melville Young. Desert allergy, trooper killer, chatty Cathy. <laughs> Desert bread. Interesting. Frisia York. I like the... Wavy. He's a neat freak. Camp Defender. Darkson Bond. Interesting. Nancy 2-4. Bug in a rug. <laughs> and good buddy. That's cute. Fancies men and fancies women. My man. Get your ass in Thank here. Thank you. Hello. I'm Ted Ustinov, and I've got some great new material for you. Do they? Do these people all have, like, voice lines? Because I kind of imagined that, like, only some people would have... Lancer Killer. That sounds useful. Salinas Milton, at your service. Is that a modulated voice? Because that might be how they're just able to have so many, like, unique guys. I'm Edie Nelson. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. Because I kind of imagine that, like, this would be a game almost more like... Child of Nature, Lancer Killer, and Imp Hater. Imp for Imperial? Yeah. That's... The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. Works for me. Darkson hater. Oh, man. You can have racism as a trait. Oh, no. This guy's interesting. Yoko Martins. There's a lot. Homer Peron. Frail body. Loneliness. He's an engineer, so that might not be bad. Man hater. A constitutional loathing so powerful it lowers accuracy. 
Metalhead and Fatalist. That's useful. I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh, hey. <laughs> Desert bread sniper kit. He's an anti-sniper sniper. Ah, oh, but he hates darks. How are these people like randomly generated? My name is Cesare Regard, and I'll handle things my own way. Thank you. Some of them even say their name as well. So, like, do all of these people have like unique? lines okay three shock troopers or four shock troopers two scouts and one of everything else hi there i'm yoko martins i'm sure we'll get along just fine that's cool kind of an older lady i'm homer perron here to fight together with you until this war claims my life. Interesting. I'll get both snipers. Hey, I'm Oscar Baylor. Thanks for taking me on board. Okay, so how do we have now? We have two scouts. We have four of those. We have two of those. Two of those. Okay. Ramona Litton. Good to be on board, Welkin. So interesting that they let you pick, like, a whole bunch out, you know? I'm Frisia York, handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Okay. So we've got four of you. Four of you. She said she, that we have room for 20, and that makes me want to have, like... I don't want to... I want to limit the amount of racists in this hey, spot. Hey, soldier! I'm Jan Walker. I'll fight with everything I've got. Oh my god, is that Jake the dog? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I was looking at you earlier. The name's Walter Nash, buddy. Pleasure to be working with you. So, like, do all these people have, like, plot lines and stuff? Okay. Man hater and desert allergy. Versus desert bread. Fatalist is okay. Um, Herbert Nielsen is me. I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try. Okay, dude. Darks and Bond's okay. Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. I really, really do like the idea of having a whole bunch of fucking shock troopers. Scout hater. <laughs> See, that's something I can get behind. Oh, God. They also all have likes, too. with a J. It's silent, but um, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Bad back. <laughs> hmm. Pessimist. What does that do for you? Less defense as you get more down. Okay. Please, call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. Not enough anime have, like, older characters, you know? Everyone's so afraid of having, like, their character be... Like, too old, you know? I hate that. Cool, so... Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. 
As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye Interesting. on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. Okay. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the Oh, we have leaked experience. That's good. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Okay. Trust in your own judgment. You can just say, hey, they get leaked experience, well lady. Trust me, I'll know. But thank you for your care. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. This might just be like a recent thing, but there have been a lot of just like, wow, real shitty Smart anime recently. And just, they all have the most generic, like, girl with, with decent sized boobs and, and no fat besides, uh, and like, the only way that you can tell them apart is different types of hair and like lengths and color. And the, the man, the men all just look like Welkin here. They all have that same generic anime face and hair. And like, granted, this anime is kind of playing with that. But the fact that we have just a lot of different, like, face types and ages is, like, <sighs> breath of fresh air, you know? Come to think of it, Faldio's heading up squad one. Oh, okay. Faldio's got his own squad. I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. Interesting that they would just give me, like, command of a squad, but training field, huh? Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. Love Still, it. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. Hear that, player? I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learned. I do like imp as shorthand for imperial. I've always liked that. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. See, that's that's what I'm talking what? about. Don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three. You get it? Okay. When the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team? Go home now! Appreciable. Good message. All right. Now I'll show you lowlights how this whole thing actually works. Cool. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. I wonder if there's an in-universe like story justification for this. Once the experience you cram into a soldier <laughs> class I'm clears a set amount, it'll level up. <laughs> Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Okay. Train all you want. I've got all day. All day. Oh, that's cute. So what do we get? Uh, country bred maternal. Oh my god, they can have way more than I thought. Okay. Yeah, why not just max them all out and get them up to rank two? I got no use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Cool. I wonder how high of ranks we get. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. <laughs> I love this guy. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Lancers. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the Snipers. Okay, so... Hmm. I kind of want to ensure that I can just get a a level out, so I might just pour it into there. Bite the bullet! No pain, no gain. This is an interesting system. I like this. Good work, maggot. Because like in XCOM, you always have just like a huge fucking problem of just like, oh, my cool guy just died. Okay. 
it's a good use I guess I'll there. just go throw like some level zero guy and like at some point you are going to have to stop using your cool guys and use someone else for whatever reason in XCOM. Defense boost. Order. So it's like a spell, I guess. Cool. Um, Shock Troopers next. I hope there's nothing else to spend it on. This. Push those limits. <laughs> Cute. Got it? That's how training by class works. Now get out there and Be a very interesting experience. system. Or like Fire Emblem, you also have the problem of like, oh, there's a cool guy, but I have to, like, to he has to level up and be used properly. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential in them. Word. You can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. Okay. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field. So keep them in mind. So class abilities besides what we already have. Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. Evade boost. Orders are special cool. commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. Glad to hear. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. Potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bums into the dirt. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. His eyes are so fucking crazy, dog. <laughs> then we got the R&D facility. I also noticed that... Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Hell yes. Huh? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? Is there a reason that um, they just declared Wilkins was going to be leader? I knew it, man! I've heard about you. That evacuation. This might answer my question, just... actually. Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter, man, man! Yeah, I guess delivering a baby inside of a moving tank while also saving the uh, the lives of several hundred refugees is pretty of note. Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people. You get all my respect and then some, bro. I love this dude. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out. I this like how his hair is there. more curly than He's normal. Man, and his man. hair is straighter. Casey. <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Priest Cherny. I'm training here as a mechanic. Mm. Is that a Polish name? Or like space oh, Polish? Oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. You're goddamn right you are, Leon. <laughs> so, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D? You are goddamn right. We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. I love the, the team we have. Guns. We can even soup up your tank. Pog. Of course. Research expenses aren't cheap. So m weapons get upgraded separately from guys. So you can send a guy in with a level zero weapon. Or if you get more money, you can send a level zero guy in with a level 30 weapon or whatever. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models. Oh, so you just, developed. so you invent a new one and then you just buy a whole bunch of them. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. Okay, so we'll that we all just it. get fresh ones. For Interesting. Tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself. Conceptually, this is cool. I like the idea of having a little squad. Or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which option. Can you imagine if this game was more of a typical tank RPG? Equipment section. Like, there there are some things of like, what if we hybridize like World War II and JRPGs? And like most people would be like, this is it. But like, imagine if, if this was closer to Dark Souls. Like there's like an ancient frozen guy on a throne and you're putting like rings on your tank to increase its dodge roll. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. Okay. Okay. Attack or defense is your choice. And you have a different appearance as well. We must the treads and weak points. Th 
Oh, man. We get a grid. We're getting a... We're getting an attache case. Oh, man. Okay, let's develop some webs. Uniforms are what most people seem to wear. Oh, we can just switch right over. Okay. The default uniform, 500 cash monies. Whew, it's done. This one's perfect, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You're just not there yet. Okay. Nine hundred anime dollars. Well. Accuracy boost. So this is Galeon one and Galeon two. Mags M two. Okay. I want this more. Whew. It's done. This one's perfect, bro. This is a pretty logical system. I don't feel like there's enough games where I get to play with an army, you know? Like, what am I thinking about? All set for you, bro. It's done. Nice. Like XCOM, Phantom Pain, and to a lesser extent, Peace Walker. That's Metal Gear Solid, uh, Phantom Pain, and Peace Walker. GSR, Great Spirit Robot. The range is a thousand compared to the six hundred on those and the two hundred on these. The damage is seventy five. One twenty five, but way more on armor. Does that make any sense in the real world? <clears throat> twenty one, but it shoots twenty. And this is 22, but it shoots five. And then that's everything, huh? Besides this. Reinforced barrel and reinforced armor. Ooh, that's expensive. So let's take a look at everything. Radiator upgrade. Crit defense. Interesting. And this is a one by one block. Uh, doesn't have cursor memory. Sight upgrade. Typically, the more expensive something is, the better it will be. We don't have the money for this. So we'll grab this and leave ourselves with 70, 70 anime dollars in the chamber. Am I not doing this right? Shame. Well, sir, was that helpful? We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Good guys. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. <laughs> yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. I ship it. Uh, so I noticed that this is out of book mode, which on the one hand, it just makes sense to keep, you know, that separate. But also it's probably a thing of like, yeah, I'm well aware I just did it. Thank you though. Um, the idea of having it be separate from your, uh, be separate from your storybook thing means that it's just a thing where like, Hey, this isn't, this isn't part of the book. You know, what was her name? It'll say whatever is, isn't going to be like, and then Wilkins went to the armory and he paid tourney 3000, uh, anime coin in order to upgrade his rifle's attack crit rate. This is really good. There's, I don't. I don't feel like there's enough games where there are like good army building stuff. And this one makes 
a lot of sense. It's a little forgiving, I would say. Because, like, oh, you just, you know, you level up all of your guys at once and then they're just a higher level. That's very, very forgiving. Um, but, like, XCOM is hard to the point where, like, you might you might actually not beat that game. Like, a normal campaign playthrough of XCOM requires you to play through the game multiple times because you're just going to die and get a game over and then it says, hey, start over. Um, and, like, I know why people would say, hey, that's not a good game design thing, but, like, that type of game design does have its place. Um, but with this one, it has so strong of a story that, like, you're definitely going to want to have gameplay stuff in here, you know? You're, you're going to want to have game structure in such a way where people can beat the game without too much problem. Because, like, there are a good percentage of XCOM players who have never beaten the game, you know? Um, and some of them have never beaten it satisfactorily. Like, they played it on easy, and they wanted to beat it on hard, but they never did that. Um, but yeah, it's a thing where, like, this is so story-heavy that, like, you want to have people be able to get through it. Whereas something like XCOM is, like, rather story-light. There's, like, 10-ish cutscenes in it. And then you have Fire Emblem, and, like, Fire Emblem is both story-heavy and uh, gameplay difficult. Which is one reason why I feel like it took so long to come to the West and be appreciable in its, you know, in, in, by, by randos. Because it's somewhat difficult to, you know, have people play Fire Emblem. Uh, this game rocks. Everyone should definitely play it. Um, if you like RPGs or anime games or World War II, or even if you don't and, and they're like, I wonder what the hype is over. This is a really good one. The port is good as well. Um, but yeah, I've been out for this in Valkyria Chronicles. I hope everyone has a good day. Thanks for coming by. Bye.